Hey YouTube, uh, this is uh, MD from Team Recon. I'm coming with you a um, uh, unique version of Gladiator Beast. It works very well. Um, I've been in Light Swords, Infernities, uh, like most of the decks on my where I play at. Uh, so let's get started. Starts off with um, one rescue cat. You know, search out your Sam Knight or your Test Tigers, just so you could like you know have that plus one. And you, I play Saggy Tour, so you go Sam Knight and Test Tiger, and you can go Saggy Tour and her Clinos in one turn. It's very, it's very broken. It might get hit. Um, this is the tech I play. Uh, this is a proxy. It's supposed to be this hedge guards. So two hedge guards. Um, basically, uh, they stop your monster from dying from one attack. And, but it has your monster, so I suggest putting a Gladiator Beast in defense, so they still could swap out. And it also has a really high defense, uh, 21 defense, so if you have no other outs, just set it, and um, you can put, work your way around that, but it's pretty much, that's, it's worked very well. And to an opponent that hasn't played you before, they'll be surprised, and, you know, you could go broken with it. And especially Secutor, you know, Secutor allows you to go to Herc, very very strong card uh, for Secutor. That's why I play Secutor. Works very well. I only play two Test Tigers. Reason it being is um three. I just three. I don't really. I played it. I don't know. I, I like two better. Two is a play for play preference for me. Two is um great for me. It works well for me too. So. And it's always broken, like, I never feel the need that I need one more. It works perfectly. And, um, I also, like, don't need to worry about protecting it with, um, my hedge guards. I can save my hedge guards, you know. So I don't need to, like, protect it. So it's, um, it's a good card to play at, too, for me. You know, um, be starry. Pop one. Could only play one, so play one play um two the Corys. Uh they get you Herclinos and they're a great B stick. Um two is good for me, three is too much. I could play three but two works perfectly. And then um two E Quest. They search out a lot they revive a lot of your gladiator beast cards and you could reuse them and abuse them. And I play like the respites, so you could also get them. It's, they're really good. Uh, I play two Samite. Only reason is because um, you search them out with Rescue Cat, and you get a plus. Only reason I play them. Um, next up is two Darius. Basically, uh, you know, just go her clean nose, or you know, like if you know your monster, this is gonna die. Just put one of your Gladiator Beast back in your deck so you can use them later, like Mermelo. Always always a good card to use. Sagittar are really broken in this deck, the way I made it. You could, you always could go this and go her Cleanos instantly, and um, it works perfectly, so don't worry about it being a nuisance. And you could always test Tiger from your hand if it's if you draw it. And I also have the Respite, so you could always put it back in the deck if you, like, you know, if you draw it and you don't want it in your hand. Whatever works out. Uh, one retar retari. Uh, it's really a card. Like it stops a lot of decks, and you gotta know when to play. Like key moments. Sometimes you don't need, really need to play uh, this smartly because, like you know, you have the setup like Herculinos and Chariot, and like a lot of cards in your hand, and you just have the setup and you know, win. So you just go for the this for fun. But um, if you play this well, it could become a great card for you. One Mermelo, uh, he's like, you know, on the smashing ground, takes down any monster for you. I play uh, one Prisma, um, he works pretty well. Uh, you don't draw him that often, so you don't need to use him that often. I don't draw him that often, but if you do, you know, you always got that combo with that Test Tiger, or, you know, whatever you want to do with it. Or save it for uh, Darius and Geyserus. Um, combo next time. I play um, one Blamus. This is a need for this deck, I think, because of its uh, 700 attack. It could jump over Bottomless. 
and um, you always could just go for it. Like they can't bottom this. That's the one the main reason I play this card. He's one of the best cards I think in this deck. Um, just you know, a lot of decks can't run over him. Honest doesn't work because he only has 700 attack. But you no, know, it's pretty broken. It goes 24 defense, so another reason why I play him. Uh, one Gores, he helps you a lot. Like if you have the setup, but your setup breaks down, you just drop him and you go broken basically. Like you could turn the whole game around with him because you just gotta know how to play him. Like just play him and then um you get your token and wreck next turn. It's pretty broken. Just try it out. Now for the spells. I play two respites, three is too much. I just only to play three. I play two um just so you could get rid of your glider beast. Most of the time you do not want them in your hand. You want to use their effect so you want them in your deck. So you know these just help you achieve what you want. Send back two, draw three. It's like um no loss, but it profits you because you get a better hand in the end. And you can also recycle them with E Quest because it has the name. It's good. Uh, play two proving grounds. Search out anything I want. If I draw these, I basically search whatever I want, and I don't need to take chances with uh, drawing another gladiator beast. Two smashing. Um, play this because uh, these work. Two work like just smash, and then you could set up so many plays with this like. It just wrecks your opponent's setup a lot if they don't have a backfield most of the time. They work really well. Try to. If not, try one if it doesn't work for you. I play Super Moon, you know. It's kind of that. Like get Econ, but, you know, since a lot of monsters have low defense, your Gladiator Beast, great chance to exploit it. One Cold Wave, this is a really broken card. You play it, you set up perfectly. You play it, you could go Herculinos, anything. Like, your opponent can't stop you. You could go anything you want. Unless they have, like, a Reiko or whatever, but... You know, if you know your opponent plays that, you just gotta play around it. Play a Brain. Um, if you can't get over your opponent's monster, just take it. And, you know, that kind of... Uh, makes it easier for you to attack directly. And, um... A heavy on honesty, backfield destruction, uh, kind of a staple. I played three war chariots, uh, stop most effects, uh, stops gorge. You know, it's these are self explanatory. These are like if you have Herculinos and this, you're set, you kind of win the game. Uh, these cards, these a lot of people don't play basically. What they do is they switch the positions of your opponent's monsters. But most of the time, your opponent's monsters goes to defense. So next turn, you can always abuse. And you know, these help me a lot. I know for sure. Stops a lot of OTKs. And uh, they work wonderfully. Two Wabaku. Um, like, you know, go ahead and us with Secretor. Or any other play you want to do. I does shoot always with a card to play. Just to have that um, advantage over your opponent. I turn into tribute and uh, Starlight Road. You have a lot of backfield, so you play this. I turn into the opponent swarms too much. Slip it over. <clears throat> so, and you know, the regular side uh, extra deck. Three of these, three of these, Geyserus and Herculinos. And I start us for the Starlight Road. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, this deck is for trade or sell, whatever. If you guys want it, just hit me up. And the proxy, I'll, I could get the sector really easily. I just, um, need to get it, like, I could get it. If you guys want, want this deck, just hit me up. Or if you have any suggestions, just leave comments. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Elmano Team Recon Productions. If you enjoy watching our videos, um, just subscribe, rate, comment. Peace.